Hello world, Perez Hilton here, that's me, with some very important news for you. Instagram is over, done, rest in peace. <laughs> I'll let you know why in a second, but first, if for any chance you don't know my backstory, I am the original influencer. Before that word existed, there was me. I've been doing what I do now for 15 years. And amongst the many things I do is I am a pop culture observer. I see what trends are and I see what trends end. We've known for a while that Facebook is over and that time has now come for Instagram as well for many reasons. And I'm gonna list them all out for you here today. I felt compelled to make this video because I'm really excited about the direction that things are headed. So if you haven't heard me talk about it yet on my podcast or in a video, the future, at least for the next few years, is TikTok. Why? Well, first, let me explain to you what TikTok is. TikTok started off as something appealing just to kids. I'm talking 10-year-olds, 12-year-olds, 13-year-olds, and maybe some in their early, later teens and college years. But in 2019, TikTok has gone mass and mainstream and aged up. I am on there, follow me, at Perez Hilton, and a lot of my followers on there are in their 30s, in their 40s, in their 20s, and some that are teenagers and younger. Thank you. So TikTok is just like Vine. I am sure that Twitter is pounding their heads and regretting getting rid of Vine. Many people, myself included, thought that TikTok would never take off. I was on Musical.ly for a bit before it was bought by TikTok and merged and became the version that we know now. And I just assumed that it wasn't gonna go anywhere, that Instagram was too dominant. Well, that's not true. In fact, TikTok is so big that Facebook is ripping them off, as they do all the time. And I'll get to why Facebook is awful and remind you in a, in a moment. Facebook, if you haven't heard, is gonna be launching their ripoff of TikTok, and specifically only gonna be launching in countries where TikTok is not huge yet. In the United States, TikTok is huge. Why is that? Why should you join? Well, you don't have to join if you want to be free of social media, which that is also a direction that we're heading in in the future. Less social media and more direct connection with people, which is one of the reasons why I, because I like to stay ahead of the curb, will A, join TikTok and B, have been asking my Fram to sign up for my newsletter, Pereznewsletter.com. Another thing that people have been doing is asking you to text them. I think that's a little too aggressive and I don't want to, maybe eventually I'll explore or use that functionality, but I don't want my text messages. I am you, right? So I don't want my text messages being blown up by people I follow because I already get way more than enough emails. I don't want the same thing to happen to my text. So I'm pushing the newsletter. Pereznewsletter.com is where you can sign up. Pereznewsletter.com. So that is the future because we can't be reliant on social media if that is our job, okay? And I also have been observing that younger people, while flocking to TikTok, a lot of them are just kind of over social media. Not totally, but I think maybe hopefully consuming it less or just consuming TikTok more. And the appeal of TikTok for not just younger people, but for older folks like me is, first of all, the only intention, the main overreaching theme of TikTok is to put a smile on your face, to make you happy. And I think for so many of us, 
Instagram does not make us happy anymore for many reasons. One, people are putting out there these fake lives, these curated feeds with these professional photos and filtered and fake, 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 not real. It brings a lot of us down. Whereas TikTok lifts us up. And I love that. We need more of that in the world. That's why I've been loving TikTok. And frankly, I just like results. I have been growing so quickly on TikTok. The engagement is through the roof. And it's been for me also a great fun way to discover new talent, new people that I enjoy consuming, that make me happy. Um, and it, it's just, it feels lighter and brighter than Instagram, sillier. I mean, you see people like, I know all the moves and all the songs that go viral. I mean, TikTok has really pushed the needle. TikTok can make songs chart now. TikTok has the ability to create hits. That's wild. Like that, ride it and control, ride it. Like there's so many songs. I, it's, I can't get them out of my head. And thus far I've been doing a little combination of just be, be, I like to be transparent always, repurposing the video content that I'm already doing and also creating a, a few original videos every once in a while just for TikTok. Like I uploaded one uh, recently that was me doing the Black Eyed Peas, My Humps song. Cause I'm old, but I'm young inside and I wanna stay with the times. It's important for me to be where the culture is. And if I was to join TikTok next year, when even more people join, then it's gonna be harder. And as for Facebook, well, A, they're over too. They've been over a long time. If you've forgotten or don't remember or never even knew, Facebook owns Instagram. And I, I think I'm in favor of Elizabeth Warren and her plan to break up Facebook. No, I'm still not in favor of that. Even though I hate Facebook. This I will upload in full onto Facebook. You may not see this on Facebook because Facebook has been punishing me. I've spoken about this because it keeps hap it, it happens to me every two weeks. That's how long I get punished for. Facebook claims that I am pushing out clickbait. They actually expect me to write really long and descriptive things whenever I link to my website. Why? I re I'm, I'm not doing it. I can, you know what? If, there, if, you wanna, if you love Facebook and want to consume my content on Facebook, first of all, know that I post often. So if you like that, then click the notifications on. Because then I would imagine that even though Facebook is punishing me, if you show notifications on, if you click that, then I'll still show up for you high in your feed. They tell me that I'm showing up low in people's feeds because I am sharing clickbait. I wish somebody from Facebook is watching this. Why should I have to write multiple sentences or something that takes me a long time to write just to link to my website when on Facebook, by linking to my website, the headline shows up and also underneath the headline, a blurb. Maybe I should just start sharing photos instead with a link. That'd probably get more engagement. It's ridiculous. But that goes back to what I said. In addition to the newsletter, the podcast is another way to directly reach me and reach out to you and let you know what's going on in my life. If you're not listening to my podcast yet, check that out. The Perez Hilton Podcast with Chris Booker on Apple Podcasts or directly at PerezPodcast.com. And I think Instagram is done because there's so many inactive profiles, so many profiles with 
And this has been true for a while. So many profiles with fake followers or fake likes, low engagement. You look at people that have 7 million followers, right? On Instagram, but barely any comments. It's jumped the shark. It's over. I'm sick of it. It sucks. I'm just all about TikTok. I still love YouTube. I still love YouTube. They're not perfect. Listen, no social media platform is perfect. Not even TikTok. Do I love that TikTok is owned by a Chinese company? No, because from what I've read, they have suppressed political discourse on TikTok or LGBT issues that may not be accurate, but I think it is, you know, like if you're using TikTok in China and you're speaking out against the Chinese government, that ain't gonna fly on TikTok, right? And, and, and you all know what I think about YouTube. YouTube is not perfect. I have to be super sanitized on here. Uh, it is what it is. I'm just trying to do my best, work hard, stay connected with you all, entertain you all, keep myself entertained and my spirits lifted without feeling down about this or that or the other. Life. And maybe I'm wrong. Is Instagram not done? Is it still popping? I don't think so. Like, I, if I didn't have to use Instagram for work, I wouldn't, well, I wouldn't use Instagram story. And I would probably be posting a lot less. Like, I've observed my friends barely post on Facebook anymore. And I don't, they're just older. Like, my friends are in their 40s now. I don't even think they're posting otherwhere. They're just realizing, you know what? Who cares? I still care because it's my job and I care about you. I want to stay in touch with you. You know how to stay in touch with me. If anybody super chatted me during this video, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Arr, you're awesome. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everything. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and leave a comment down below. Liking and commenting really help my videos with engagement. The more engagement a video has, the more YouTube pushes it out and it is seen by people who don't subscribe to me. More views equals more money. <laughs> we all want more money. I'm sending you money vibes. <sighs> Money vibes to you. If you enjoyed this, also make sure you're following my Perez Hilton and family channel, youtube.com slash the Perez Hilton. Turn the notifications on there and here. Get a personalized video greeting from me on the Starsona app at starsona.com slash Perez Hilton or directly at starsona.com slash Perez Hilton. <laughs> Get some merch on the merch shelf down below this video. If you're watching it on YouTube, click through or go to buypopstuff.com. That's buypopstuff.com. Follow me and the website across social media, everywhere from Instagram to Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Snapchat, and TikTok. Sign up for my newsletter at PerezNewsletter.com. Read PerezHilton.com every day. Share this video and yeah, yeah, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're, be you're beautiful. You are so beautiful. You're so freaking beautiful and smart and kind. And I am lucky to have you in my fram. I'll see you guys.